Hey you guys, so this is What's Good for Maxine. Now this film just came out at the beginning of this month, July, and essentially it is part of a trilogy. So the first movie, X, came out in 2022, Pearl came out a few months after that, and a lot of people were theorizing at that time, hey, are all three movies <laughs> gonna come out by you know 2022 or within a year because just kind of how things were going I would say the hype at that time in regards to those films a lot of people were talking about them that was just kind of the theory that was going on sadly that was not the case you know by end of 22 there was you know no announcement in regards to hey the third movie's coming out and then at the beginning of 2023 same case so movie finally came out though like they were in production to make it the script was written in 2022 it was just finalizing everything so with it being out i will say of course i highly recommend watching the first two before you watch maxine i do feel in a way because as i kind of think about it of course when it comes to backstory and different things when it comes to the events that happened in X, you will want that clarity. I do feel like a part of this though, you could see without watching the first two, if you were rather curious on it. Um, it's just some of those things I would say in regards to Maxine's character, you might be a little confused in regards to like different things that are mentioned what's kind of going on um you know things like that but i think ultimately when it comes to you know the mystery the events within this film like the conflict that is happening they do stand it stands alone on itself and what i do really love about these films as a whole they do a real a, a good job of like bringing it into that time frame not saying other films don't do that as well but I think it it just does a good job like when it comes to Pearl really puts you in that time frame of like World War One you know the the flu epidemic different um you know those things that are kind of going on during that time same with X and particularly with this one being in the 80s you're having movies that are being made that some people you know especially times were changing <laughs> so you always see that no matter what but you know in regards to some films being made it's like oh my god is this related to a cult is this you know like worshiping the devil that sort of thing because at that time i think horror movies were taking a, a di almost like a different turn in regards to like the things that were you know coming out of them and so that's where I think, you know, it just does a good job of kind of connecting, hey, these are things that were going on within that time. And then this is the movie, <laughs> like this is what's happening to like this person who is now real within this movie. I think it does a good job of like, having those th uh, kind of thriller, um, kind of like, not who done it, but who is the main like antagonist who is going around doing these things um and then you just also to Maxine I think is a very strong character and I think for some people they can really relate to some of the different things um in regards to like what she has gone through so I just think it's overall just a good movie I very much enjoyed it casting was fantastic I think a lot of the different scenes that were done with in there great i it, i just i highly recommend the film like i said um the one thing i can say so like how i mentioned before i feel like you could see this without maybe seeing the others the day we were deciding what movie to go see because it was between this or long legs because i'm in the mood <laughs> for like i'm in that mindset of hey i need some like not true crime, but like I need something exciting, you know? Um, and so started watching Pearl that day. My significant other came in, started watching some of it. So I became really interested. And that was kind of like 
not the deciding factor, but we were kind of thinking it over. And yeah, my significant other was like, I kind of want to see Maxine a little bit more. I know I haven't seen X yet, but you know, I, I, I kind of, I'm interested. And I'm like, okay. And he, it seemed he got it like fine. You know, I did explain some things, like I said, when it comes to backstory um, to him, just so then he understood what was kind of going on. But for the most part, you know, he, he took it well. So that's why I kind of say, I feel like you could see it if, you didn't see baby X in particular. So I highly recommend this film. If you are in that kind of mindset I'm in now where it's like, hey, I'm ready for <laughs> spooky season. I'm ready for Halloween. Then this is definitely a film that I highly recommend and that you go see, especially too, if you've seen um, X and Pearl. So if you've seen the movie, feel free to leave your thoughts down below and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.